Hi, this is Monk from Uber Television and we're here at the Limelight once again, our spiritual home. It's about the fourth time we've been here in, here in about seven days. And the reason is we're in the middle of a week of thrash metal. We've got a big build tonight and opening it up, the mighty skeleton all remains. I'm pleased to say we've got Chris from the band here, due on stage literally in a few minutes, so thanks very much for talking to us. No worries, man. Thanks for having me. So, uh, how's the tour been going so far? You've a few dates under your belt on this massive thrice tour, like? Yeah, it's been fucking awesome, man. It's probably been one of the best runs we've done in Europe so far. It's, every show is pretty much sold out or nearly sold out. So all the shows have been great. Since the beginning, since we go on, the shows are completely by. So, yeah, it's been, really good. it's been a really good response for us. Yeah. What's the camaraderie like between the bands? Or is there any rivalry as to who can put oh, off the no, best set? No. <laughs> no, I think we're all pretty much past that. I mean, it's, we're all just kind of hanging out and having fun, you know. Every, everybody in the bands are really, really cool people. We're always just hanging out, partying and stuff. So, and every band on this bill is fucking amazing. So it's, it's a really good, really good package. And we're just excited to be uh, invited and to be a part of it. Who farts the latest on the materials? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I usually stay up pretty late hanging with the guys, but by the time I go to bed, I'm just, I just get in there and I count and wake up. So, <laughs> so I sit right, right in your face, you're not going to know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so I really like to throw the odd curveball question. Yeah, no, no worries. I'm good, man. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, the last album came out last year. Uh, it's had a terrific response. You're slowly building that momentum. Really, is, is it? It's very much a slow building process for you guys, so isn't it? Because it's like an album, then you tour pretty intensively, and then you do another one. Yeah, is that, is that the touring's obviously very important to you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, I, don't, I think if we weren't touring, it probably wouldn't be where we are. You know, we wouldn't be as known as we are because we got to actually get out there and you know make new fans. And I, that's why I feel this package is a very good thing for us because it's not really a death metal crowd that's coming out to the show. I mean, don't get me wrong, we have we have a couple fans that come just for us, but, you know, it's kind of different. You know, you have heavy metal from Force of Speed Metal, and you have Toxic Holocaust and Space, there's more on the hardcore crash and stuff, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, being part of tours like this really helps, have helped us, but yeah, definitely, I mean, <clears throat> that's kind of just how the, the way it works. You release a record, and then you go out and play it live for the next year or two, and then work on another so we've been touring all stop this whole year. So. It's good for tours so to have that sort of blend of bands of slightly different styles because it opens fans' minds to something new as well. Because, as you said, there'll be guys who come to see you yeah. who've never heard of Enforcer or have never heard of Toxic Holocaust or never, right, right. you know, so you get that good blend, which is exactly. really important to keep the music alive and keep metal alive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, say, I mean, I think overall, the, in general, the fans are. I mean, any metal fan is able to be into a, a little bit of, you know, death, thrash, or it seems like all the fans that come out here are just here for metal, and everybody seems to enjoy the whole package, it's been really fun. Yeah, that's a beauty of heavy metal, we all love different aspects of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I personally have my hair metal as well, you know, so. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> so, I was looking back through your discography. 2012, 2015, 2018 are the album releases. Does that mean it's going to be 2021 before there's a new Skeletal Remains album? Or are you no, working on one at the minute? It's not really something we try to do. Like It was never supposed to be a three year gap or anything. It just happened that way. But uh, this time around, we're pretty much already almost done writing a new record. So we have plans to go in and record it for the next year. So the plan is to hopefully have it out by the end of next year. Sometime before the summer, like June, May or June. So well, that's the plan. But uh, like I said, we've been touring all year. So I mean, once we get home from this, we'll actually have some time off. We won't be doing anything till next May. So we'll have a lot of time to actually, you know, finish everything and get into the studio and record it. But we'll definitely have something on this. That's a plan. Good stuff. You heard it here first on Uber Rock Television. We're very conscious, Chris, at ERG on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, so we're going to cut it short. Thanks very much for your time. In the tr Uber Rock tradition, keep her lit, keep her between the hedges, and above all, keep it fucking metal. Thank you.
Thanks for having me. Cheers, guys.